Okay, so I'm gonna I'm kind of bored because I'm in, I'm stuck in ISS all day for some dumbass shit. Um, so I'm kind of bored. So I'm just gonna make a little vlog in ISS. Um, so I'm gonna rate the slurs and profanity on the wall. So I'm actually they cleaned it off since the last time I was in here. I, I was in here for detention and they like cleaned it off and repainted over a lot of it. But we still got some some uh, some quality offensive stuff. So um, I don't even know what that says. Fun. Fun, I guess. F. You? Oh, they were gonna write fuck, but they cowered it out of it. That's a pretty funny one. Uh, that just says E, so that's goofy. Um, I, I wonder if I could escape from the ceiling. There's a chair right here. I might be able to escape from the ceiling, I don't know. And this is cute. Someone wrote a heart. Uh, that really makes my day a lot better. You know, I'm stuck in ISS, but someone wrote a heart. Um, we got um, one of those guys. I wonder if they can hear me making this video. I don't give a fuck. Uh, then we got um, P-U-S-Y, so they misspelled that. B-H, not a complete word. This looks like a swastika that was turned into a tic-tac-toe board. We got some more profanity. Um, never really understood why people write pussy. Cause it's like, it's just like, a body part, but whatever. We got, um, oh, Benjamin Cooper. Benjamin Cooper. Oh. <laughs> Bro, Benjamin Cooper's in here. Oh my goodness, that's so funny. Okay, and we got, what else do we got? We got shithole. That's kind of sad. Um, but this is, this is kind of a shithole. We got, some people are getting creative with the way they're putting this stuff at. We got another Among Us guy, so it's like a trend. Um, oh my goodness, there's a third one! And we got a dick. That's so funny. It looks like the infinity sign, but then with a penis on it. And then we got just holes, because I guess someone was really angry. And what else do we have? We got some tits, so that's kind of silly. Uh, what's that say? Suck my toes. Okay, we're getting kinky. Um, this stuff, a lot of this stuff is scraped out. I, I, my imagination is running wild with things it said. I'm guessing like perks of a wallflower level perversion, um, and anger from bad kids like me. Kind of a bad boy myself. Oh, what's this say? Okay, I found another treasure. So this says, fuck the, this ghost. Oh, school. I hate Cheyenne. Oh, okay. Um, and then we got, it looks like a cum stain. So I guess someone got really bored in here. Is it that everybody in this fucking room who's ever been in here doesn't know how to fucking spell pussy? They all spell it with one S. <laughs> fucking dumb ass. Okay, so, um, they should really get a toilet in here because this is kind of a small space. Look at this. I can't even stretch my arms out together. Uh, but, um, this is my window. So I got a pretty good view. Profile of a graduate, critical thinking, resilience, responsibility. They're giving us propaganda, um, classroom, compassion, collaboration, and responsibility. Oh, that's so cool. And then uh, we got um, the principal's office, so he can be watching over me. Uh, it looks like he's got some, what is that, wolfbane, so he can kill Dracula. Um, we got another classroom. I got talked to in there. My, they called my mom in that classroom. That was kind of weird. Um, then we got another hallway, and I know Ben Cooper is, I think in the, I think he's my neighbor. I wonder if I knock on the door, maybe he'll he'll hear me and he can knock back. Then we got a trash can. I think this is where, where we are supposed to use the bathroom. Uh, I don't really know for sure. Um, and on, they don't even lock these doors. I could technically like sneak out at any time. But if I do sneak out, I think I'm gonna go for a more stylish, uh, flamboyant route, and I'm just gonna try doing it through the ceiling, cause that would be a better story. Uh, and I am seriously considering it. Uh, I want to eat lunch first though, cause I don't want to go without having lunch. But yeah, and then after I sneak out, where would I go? Like, back to class? I don't know. And uh, they gave me a ruler. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with this. Like, it, this was in here. Um, I guess I can use this to carve out. Some kind of thing. Oh, I should I should write my name on here. But then if I do that, if I write my name on here, they'll know that I wrote it. So then they'll be like, mm, 
Oh, I found another, I found another, I found another curse word. Fuck. Oh yeah. That's me all day, every day. Fucking. There's the light. I don't know. I feel like by the end of it, I'll just be like Jack Nicholson in The Shining. I'll just be like absolutely crazy with like a baseball bat. Like, I'm not going to hurt you. I'm not going to hurt you. But I'm just going to bash your brain in. And I'd have like the ruler. That's probably what's going to happen. And I've got headphones and I, I snuck my phone in. They don't know. They didn't, they didn't check me, but I have my phone. So, ha, ha, ha. I snuck my phone in. So that's pretty funny. And, um, yeah, so I'm just going to document this whole IFS thing. Uh, it'll keep me entertained throughout IFS. Uh, but I snuck my phone in and I got earbuds. So I was listening to Nas. I was listening to I Can by Nas. Really great song. Actually, that was a very fitting song to listen to because it's like, I can be what I want to be. If I work hard at it, I'll be where I want to be. I could make like a little tent back here if I had like um, like a little fortress. I could make a fortress in here if I brought some blankets. I should have done that. And some pillows. That would be comfy. I don't know if I could fit. I don't know. And then even and then I could put like another like cushion and blend and like pillow. And I could have a bed on top and then a fortress down there. I could get like a DVD player and watch some black and white movies. That'd be so fun. I wonder if any of the staff members want to be in my vlog. I can ask them. They might make me take my iPad away though. I'm not probably gonna do any homework today. <laughs> Alright, so we got, I'm gonna show you my uh, ISS drip. So I actually think I dress pretty stylish for ISS. Uh, my hair looks pretty nice today. Um, so it's a shame none of the ladies can see it. But I got this shirt. I, my sister actually got this for me as a gift at Hollywood. Well, I, I'm the movie guy, so I love Hollywood. But I'm not gonna lie, I think Hollywood it's not my favorite. I don't know. I, there are a lot of other great film industries. Like during the silent era, there was the German film industry, which was really good. And I'm half German, so it's like I got that pride, you know. But I'm also American, so I got that American pride too. But you know, nowadays American pride is down. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I don't even know why I'm laughing. Uh, I'm laughing because I'm slowly losing my mind in here. I've only been in here for like an, less than an hour, and I'm already losing my mind. Uh, so I got my drip. I got my jacket. Looking pretty good. Looking pretty stylish. Oh yeah, and, okay, something I like about this jacket, if anyone ever mugs me, um, they wouldn't know that I have my wallet in here, with like all my stuff that I have in my wallet, um, and my like debit cards and stuff, and then in here, I usually, oh shit, I forgot I ran out of gum. Oh, hey, it's Ben, Ben! Oh, Ben just walked past, okay. So I ran out of gum, I got my other pocket, oh, I got this extra drip, this is my lucky hat, and uh, oh, I got some jeans. And some shoes, some Adidas shoes. So wait, I can show you my jeans. Don't look at my cock. Um, jeans and Adidas shoes. I don't know how well you can see that. And I got my sister's old backpack because my dog peed on the other one. I bought, I got this like drip in here. I got drip. I got some extra drip. They were just giving these away at the school. There's like a take some free stuff. So I got this extra jacket. Um, should I take it out? You know, I might as well, because I'm feeling kind of goofy. Uh, so I got this new jacket. I'm not going to try it. I tried it on, and it, it's really musty and dusty. And I found this weird, like, hat with which it fell over. So here's the deal breaker. I don't know if I can get this out. It's Sharpie. It says, like, Walmart or whatever. So I guess some Walmart associate wrote it on Sharpie that if this is a Walmart product. But I don't know what happened to that Walmart, because now it's mine. And I stole it, but it, it this fits my style very well. I like that style. I'm thinking one of these days I gotta get like an Indiana Jones style leather jacket. But the thing is, like, I see dweebs wearing jackets like that. It's become like a thing where like leather jackets, cool kids don't wear leather jackets anymore. I'm not one of the cool kids. I don't wanna be one of the cool kids. I wanna be the me kid, who's me, Carter. I wanna be my own. But like, I don't know. I see like losers wearing leather jackets and they think they're cool. And they just look like they're gonna shoot up a school. And I just rhymed, and <laughs> I can freestyle right now. I don't know how, but I'll think of some words. And they'll fly high like birds, but hit hard like concrete, splatting on the cold concrete. Oh.
That was fun. I got jump scared by Mr. Lon. I thought he was going to tell me to stop recording, but you can never get me to stop recording. Because that sounds creepy. I don't mean it like that. Because I'm a filmmaker. So I make movies. And I'm documenting my time in ISS. Oh, yeah. Feet on the desk. Because I'm bad like that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Zoom in. Oh, yeah. I'm losing my mind. I'm actually losing my mind and I've barely been in here. I'm supposed to be in here all day. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, my goodness. I'm supposed to be in here all day. That is goofy. That's actually goofy. Bro, this is prison. They literally sentenced me to prison for a day. Imagine I get sent to prison and this is just my life. I'd escape. Alright, so I was kind of bored and I thought I would write um, some bars. <clears throat> so call this a poem, call this rap, call this whatever. I wrote this thing um, and hopefully the lyrics hit hard and sting. So I'm going to read this to you, but I don't know if I can read it from the camera. Minutes pass like hours, time through a void devours. I think of moments gone, remember red on the lawn. Tears cried and love denied, things tried and truth slide. Hoping for something new, wondering if I'll be getting through. Even in blood, there's grass, on the grass there's dew. Uh, what should I name it? I'll, I'll name it on the spot. It's not in focus. Um, I can't think of a good title. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> right. I, I was thinking, I don't know. I can't think of a good title. But, um, how about like, I, I don't want it to sound pretentious, you know. I'll write my name. Carter. Get the fucking focus, stupid camera. Phillips. I mean, I guess it's already pretentious that I'm writing poetry like I'm some wise guy when I'm literally like 15. I mean, it's okay, it's not bad. Um, ben, what do you want to say to the camera? <laughs> All right, so I'm, I'm going back to the title. Well, I just do something crazy. The enemy is time. Period. I'm gonna do like a. It's supposed to be like a line. That was fun. I don't think I have it. This is Josh. I saw him during ISS. I'm in a surprise. I'm kind of in a good mood because, like, this is kind of fun and exciting. I've never had ISS, you know? Uh, I don't know. I'm in a good mood because, like, I don't have to talk to anybody. I can just be by myself, have my thoughts to myself. Oh, yeah. So, I, I shared with you a, a poem I just wrote. I'm probably going to write some more. I have my phone out, which is pretty risky. But I'm going to um, share with you a poem I've written, which I think is really good. I don't know. Maybe it's shit. I'm going to read it to you. Don't aim for the head, aim for the heart instead. That way thoughts don't end, but trap they can't send. In life we have endless goals, but they don't fill my heart of holes or give us the secrets to our souls. The more we gain, the more we lose, distracting ourselves with the things we use. Like a hunger we can never satisfy unless we live old enough to die. If you search deep enough, would you find a monster beneath everyone bad and kind? And if you could press rewind on memories, would the ones that feel older than centuries of people living at the bottom of cemeteries be only softened by time, sweet like lime, unexpressed through rhyme by design, but loved and easily known behind eyes always being shown. Love that isn't forgotten, hearts with holes to run. A couple makes two, it is complete with you. Alone I wander in this night, standing in the misty twilight. If without you, morning can start because of the pain in my heart. Aw, oh, that's so cute and stupid. I, I'm more like an old school kind of guy. I like like a tribe called Quest. Oh, that's the bell. I don't even know which bell that is. I've lost track. I've heard so many already. But let me see. What time is it? It's, um... See, right now I have on Spotify paused my Bible by Nas. Um, right now my iPad is at 
and I don't see what time it is. Okay, it's 9.58, but I've been, I've, I've been told I, I'm good with words. Nobody really thinks, um, there's someone walked past. Nobody, most people I think think I'm pretty stupid uh, because of the way I act and the things I say. I just say, I joke around all the time. It's very little that I'm actually serious and say something, I, I, I'm at, I say something with any meaning because it's like we're, we're put on this world so short a time, so much horrible things are going on that we create, humanity creates. All of my troubles, all of my problems, I've created for myself. I'm the reason why I'm in here. I mean, I think it's kind of unfair that I got in here, but I'm the reason why we create our own problems. Humanity is prone to that. I remember this one time, this suicidal girl, she was like talking to me about how she wanted to kill herself. And I said, how do you know that death won't how do you know that death is going to be the end of your suffering? And she was like, damn. And I was like, exactly. That's why you don't kill yourself. Because, um, like, here's the thing about suicide. Like, you don't actually know where you're going. I believe in God. But I don't know that I'm going to go to heaven or hell. It could be nothing. I technically don't know that. I can't prove that. Just the same way an atheist can't prove for sure that they're not going to go to hell or heaven or something else. You have no way to prove what the afterlife will be. It could be nothing. It could be a completely different plane of existence. You don't know that. Yet people are so sure of their own afterlife that they're going to kill themselves because they're depressed or because they're in so much pain. It's like or lack of pain, they don't feel anything. It's like, it's not the answer. You're, each day you wake up, you're given so many opportunities to make a change in the world, to do good things. People are given opportunities to, go, to do good things to you and we always waste it. Every night I, I go to sleep and I'm like, what, what have I actually done today? I went to school, I went to work, I met friends, I laughed, we said jokes, but what have we actually done? What can you actually do that gives you fulfillment? I have no clue, but I'm too young to know that. I'm not wise enough. <laughs> Being wise is knowing that you're ignorant. We're all ignorant. Every single one of us is ignorant. Uh, every one of us, we're, we're all ignorant. It's just some of us are more aware of it than others. I hate people that think they're smarter than me when they're just dumb as fuck. I hate that. But I don't really care what people think of me because it's like, what it doesn't, we worry too much about what we think of each other. Uh, no, we worry too much about how we look, and how people think of us, and not enough about who we are and what we do. I'm saying this and I'm stuck in fucking ISS. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to read this. Uh, I have it written down. I, I wrote this because I it's on my iPad that I'm recording on. I, I can't read it on my iPad because I have to record, you know? I think I could, but it would be like a hassle. So this is the poem I wrote. It's called Days of Youth. What will I do with this day that I've been given and this life that I'm living? Though the sun hasn't yet lifted, when the moon returns to earth, I'll be devastated by emotion shifted, thinking of moments with worth. Remember times taken away, forgetting I'm living in today. I used to feel young, now I just feel stupid, regret and so much logic refuted. Tell me why I can't act my age, pretending my life is on a stage. I'm not one to preach, wisdom is years out of reach. It's ugly outside, beauty redefined, sight is captured in the mind. Life just keeps running, but now my legs feel nothing, like when I was stuck on those pills, looking out window sills. Like a holocaust in the mind, I could feel every particle in my brain, but my own soul I couldn't find. Escaping everything at once, but nothing to gain. 
the doctor didn't know what he did. Even gone, there's something I can't get rid of, or maybe something lost, like humanity tossed. Paranoid, to put it simply, the feeling came on suddenly. Just wanted to escape existence, but is that even a resistance? We don't know where, 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 what am I reading? We don't know where we will go when we're gone. Life is a game and we are a pawn. Existence is so bizarre, each one of us a star. I've never seen death come fast, always slowing in pain, like when the plane crashed. Nobody could get him to remain. The pilot bleeding inside and out didn't even have enough energy to shout, just to grasp and sigh, knowing that soon he would die. I remember my dog being put down and her looking into my eyes brown, the cold fluid going through her blood, draining her soul in a terminal flood. Her pupils glassy and mine dry because I told myself that men don't cry. Even though I was still in middle school, not knowing that crying don't make you less cool. I remember waking up in the hospital, hearing children crying in agony. S suddenly, my body feeling brittle, couldn't find friends, just family. Couldn't get out of bed without help. Making promises to myself, always sore from the surgery, being normal from a luxury is a luxury. When will I realize it will never be the same? I just want those days before the tragedy came. His dad dead when he was still 14, rain at the funeral like in a movie scene. Their mother lost custody, stepfather abusive, and house unsanitary. Then they had, then they moved out of town. School wasn't the same without them around. Alone at school without my bro. Dead leaves covered by new snow. Hello. Aloha. Dead leaves covered by new snow. I believe in tragedy, but didn't know it. Heard about it, but didn't give a shit. Oh, sorry for my language. I should sit up so you can see me better. Worried my friend would slit his wrist. I tried helping, but he was always pissed. Couldn't be there for the brothers. At least I didn't forget like the others. In school, getting into trouble. Like I had an evil double. Always getting accused, making me so confused. This part I have to be careful of what I say around the administration, so I'll whisper it to you. Where was is the administration when you need them? I'm I'm in the den of the administration, so I have to be careful what I say. I didn't see them dealing with any racism because it's in the cafeteria halls, slurs bouncing off the walls. Working nine working nine days in a row for green, escaping to a movie screen so I don't have to feel learning how to drive behind the wheel. Looking what does that even say? I can't read my own fucking damn handwriting. Look at that. What, how am I supposed to read that? How am I supposed to read that? Looking. Oh, looking in the mirror to a face I don't recognize, not knowing the reflection of my own eyes. When you're not laughing, you're crying, not believing, then denying. If you're not living, then you're dying. Oh, that is some crazy bars right there. And around this time of night in a future so far out of sight, wondering if I'll still wake up in a cold sweat and in waking wondering if I'm dead yet. At old age, no more violence, just memories and dead silence, thinking of people I've met and so, so much regret. There's more, there's more. What did I even say? Muse? Oh, music on the radio, Sam Cooke, soul music slow, driving in my car, not knowing who we are. The, thought, the thoughts on my mind are heavy, yet when I walk, I walk steady, thinking of thoughts you'll never hear, wondering if death is coming near. Wearing jeans and a dark jacket with cracked, hurt hands and pockets. I'm really just some guy, but there's no need to say goodbye. Remember me as I smiled in the days that were wild. <laughs> Those are bars right there. I wrote some good bars. Those are some good bars. Someone walked past the door. It's so busy in here. That when I fucking press record... Nobody walks past the door for my documentary. If you can tell, I'm losing it by the way I'm talking. <laughs> oh my goodness, solitary confinement. This is solitary confinement. I'm in the hole. It's like I'm in Alcatraz. Like I'm slowly turning into the Birdman of Alcatraz. I don't even get to listen to sweet jazz. Just kidding. I got Spotify, but I'm not listening to it. I don't know why. Instead, I'm freestyling. I checked Discord. Do you want to hear some absolute bullshit? Tucker, the kid that was the loudest and that started the conversation that got us in ISS, isn't getting in school suspension ISS. <laughs> what the fuck? Fucking dumbass piece of shit. Administration. Because they've had a bad. Me and Ben, they've been at our fucking ass since like the beginning of the school year. 
they just they suspect us because they suspect us they don't it's because they suspect us and whenever anything happens we take the blame for it i've been accused of so much they distrust us they think we're bad kids we have a reputation among the staff that it doesn't reflect who we are and the funny thing is i don't even know how it started i don't know what we did wrong i don't know how it started it was just like one thing after another i keep getting called out to the office for stuff really goofy stuff that doesn't make any sense and now I'm back in here. The guy who was the loudest, who technically got us into this mess, who started talking about it, he's the one that doesn't get ISS. Yet Ben got ISS. What? Why is he even got ISS? He didn't. He was there, so he gets ISS. I was there. I admit, if anyone's going to take the blame, me and Tucker, I guess, should. But really, what we did wasn't even that bad. So I'm, that, why is Tucker getting off when... What is this? Injustice. Fucking bullshit, bro. So by now you're probably wondering why I got ISS. And I was thinking maybe there could be a more creative way to, to explain this. I'll think about it. I, I feel like there could be a better way to explain this for the, dot, for the purposes of filmmaking. Because it's so boring when you get exposition just through dialogue, you know, but hey, it was whatever. So I got ISS, and I've gone over this fucking thing so much in the last two days. Why did I get ISS? Well, it all started because I was in, this is, I was in math class. This girl tapped me on the hand, I guess, and said, and pointed at Tucker and Ben were outside the door she said they want you and I was like, okay so I walked over to them they do this pretty frequently and uh, I left the classroom mr. Hansen my math teacher did not care at all when I came back ten minutes later he goes oh hi Carter he didn't care the administration is trying to say that I skipped my class and I even told him I said I didn't skip my class I went into my class I left my class for like ten, five to ten minutes, and then I came back. That's not skipping. I keep saying that. He kept referring it to it. He skipped class. I did not skip class. We walk into an old teacher's classroom, and we, me, us three, we both had her the previous year, sophomore year. Tucker was talking to her. We were just talking about the year. She, they're acting like we barged in. We were uninvited in this full classroom, but the classroom was empty. Her class hadn't started yet. The way they word it is so deceiving. They say, what were you doing in that classroom? Why were you there? Why were you even talking about this? Tucker didn't even get in trouble for this damn shit. They make it seem like something it isn't. And they were like, okay, so... Well, anyway, I walk in. We walk in. We're talking to Mrs. Cruz. She's chill. We're chill. We start talking about this crazy book we had to read for her class, Lit Circle. We had to read this book. We would have to discuss it, like, every week. This book, The Perch of Being a Wallflower, goofy book. I'm just going to say it. That book is weird. It's supposed to be a coming-of-age book, but it's got... It's not really appropriate for school. There's, like, a part in the book where a guy uses, what was it, like, a sandwich bag as a condom... There's like gay sex in it, straight sex in it, masturbation. More than once, we, we start talking about this book. She's like, I haven't even read the book. You assigned this book. Who assigned this book? Was it like a guideline that they had to read this book or what? I don't know. Why haven't you read the book? You made us read. So she tells us she hasn't even read the book. And I'm not going to lie, we're joking and like laughing because it's like, how else do you treat this kind of subject matter? It's like, what? <laughs> we have to read this for school? We had to read that for school. It's like, yeah, it's pretty funny that we had to read that in school. What am I going to say? Masturbation is funny, okay? So uh, we were like talking about it. And at one point, Miss says, okay, this is making me uncomfortable. And we're like, okay, Tucker keeps talking about it. Because Tucker keeps talking about it, it's like, what am I going to do, not respond to this guy? So, like, I say, I keep responding, you know. 
And like, I keep saying, I, I, I admit it. I should have stopped then and there. She said it was making her uncomfortable. But Tucker kept talking. So I was like, okay, well, I'll keep talking. I'll keep talking about it, you know. I'm saying it like it was like a hassle. Like, oh, well, I have to keep talking about it. No, that was my choice. I made that choice. That was my mistake. I should be in trouble for that. At the same time, Ben should not be in trouble because he made like one comment the entire time because he didn't even read the book. He was in the same class, but he didn't read the book. Hello. And it's like, what kind of goofy stuff is this? So we got in trouble. The classroom was empty. The classroom was empty. At one point towards the end, a kid came into the class early. He heard, but he, this kid's probably reading the same damn book, so I don't... What, we spoiled it for him? We spoiled it for him. Now he knows the two dudes fuck each other. Oh, okay. It's not like we don't already know what this is. And it's not like kids don't already... It's not like kids don't already... Um, don't already talk about that same stuff. So it's like, what? And he said this was an inappropriate time for us to talk about this. When is it an appropriate time there's nobody else in the classroom? Besides her, the teacher that had us read that book. So that doesn't make any sense. Tucker was being the loudest. He was the one that kept talking about it. I kept talking about it too. But he, he, he kept talking about it. But why isn't he getting in trouble? It's because me and Ben have bad reputations. They think me and Ben are something we are not. We don't act the way they think we act. They always suspect us of things. I'm proud of you. Oh my goodness. Yeah, you're real proud of me. There are so many things I've done behind closed doors that are good things. I've helped people. I've, I've, I've helped people. I've been there for people. Pe but nobody remembers that. That stuff doesn't get out. The only things that get out is when you do something bad. And it's like, you're a teenager. You really don't think of teenagers. Teenagers make mistakes. I'm pretty stupid, so of course I'm gonna make mistakes. <laughs> All teenagers are pretty stupid. They don't, some of them just don't realize this guy stops me. He says to me, what are you doing? And I was like, I was nice to him too and respectful. And I was like, oh, I'm sorry, I forgot my backpack in my car. And he's like, why are you walking up the stairs? I didn't want to say it's because I didn't want to pass the other administrator. So I go, I just forgot. I, I wasn't Second. thinking I was on autopilot. I just forgot. Him and that other lady, well, they're I always suspecting my son. I know. I know. I know what I he makes me stay. He says I you can leave him in, then he leaves. He has to go to some meeting. So I don't even know when class is over. I ask him when class is over. He doesn't tell me. He leaves. So I stay there until class, until class is over. And in that cafeteria, I have to walk all the way to the other side of the school. I'm like, walk to my car in the parking lot. Because I can't go to the parking lot. Unlock the car. Then when I get back, the door's locked, so someone has to let me and some other kids in. And by that point, by the time I'm let in, I'm late. So then I got, then I had to walk all the way over back to the other side of school, get into my math class. The same sinister math class I got in trouble for leaving for like 10 minutes because they claimed it was skipping. It's not skipping, it's walking over 10 minutes, coming back in. This room has no natural light. It's all artificial. You don't get to see anybody. You're all alone. You have nothing to do. You just have yourself and your homework and air to breathe. And I've been holding urine in my bladder for so long, I, I just gotta leave and ask if I can use the bathroom. Hi guys. I'm in the bathroom. In the nurse's bathroom and I get to go to lunch next so that's kind of cool I'm gonna piss in that okay I'm gonna try to sneak out Something interesting used to happen in this documentary. So, let's not do that. Oh, it's Ben! Benjamin! I'm, I'm, we gotta doc get out I'm documenting. We gotta get out of here. We gotta How get out of solitary confinement. I've been in here since nine. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, wait. 
Let's see if we can sneak out. Oh, hi. Kirk <laughs> Phillips reporting on the scene with Ben Cooper. Hello, Ben Cooper. We finally get to see We finally get to see Why, there are other people. There are other people. Maybe I'm imagining it. Hey, we got wow. out of the can, man. We, Jason. Jason, we're out, we're, we found freedom. We got stuck in the fucking can. We got can. Stuck, in, stuck in the can. Where? The office. The office. What? The only people that I like is my girlfriend, Gabe, Brandon. I, I, I don't think your girlfriend would be fine with you liking two dudes. I was the only girl. Benjamin Cooper. He's real. Meyer used to sit there. Now he's Bro, dead. Mayor always shows up at like the worst times. I walked out and he was sitting right there. Fucking hey, what did you do? <laughs> he asked me the same thing. I was talking to him. And I, I told him what happened and what it was like, and he was just smiling. So, all right, man. Oh, yeah. Wait, it's Chris, how does it feel to be free? You're a free man. You're a free man. Right, Ben? This is my last meal. They're going to execute me at noon. <laughs> That's my roommate. That's my roommate. Uh, ben walked into <laughs> Ben walked into his place. Some and fucker so much. <laughs> bro, you just looked at you like, what? <laughs> it was so funny. So Ben's my new roommate uh, until they kick him out, which they're probably going to do. When if, imagine I get ISS longer because I'm just sitting in here. Bro, that's so funny. <laughs> the guy just goes, what? Why? <laughs> like, you didn't just do my fucking room. <laughs> didn't you leave stuff in there, too? I put my iPad in there. Yummy. I forgot his food in here, which is really funny. I still got my food. That looks dusty. That's some dusty looking food. So it's about halfway through the day. <clears throat> I finished um, some of my food, still got a little bit more. Uh, it's like sp Italians, but not really Italian, like sp spaghetti. They're, I mean, noodles and stuff with meat. It's not a bad meal, but it's not the best. Um, and <clears throat> this school food tastes worse than fast food, which tastes worse than homemade food. So, it's okay. Um, I've read that prison food is better than school food. So we're feeding rapists and pedophiles and serial killers better food than students at, uh, in America. But I guess I am in prison, so in a way, prison food is the same as school food. Mmm. Cheers. Hello. It's still me. Uh, I want to introduce you to my friend, John. This is John. I met him in detention. He's one of my roommates. He likes playing checkers and uh, playing tennis. And he's going to be a good tennis player someday. And this is Sally, my girlfriend. Say hi, Sally. Hello, I'm Carter's girlfriend. She's kind of funny because her head looks like a triangle. <laughs> We're doing triangles in math. Um, she is an acute triangle because she's very cute. Ain't that right, Sally? Yes, I'm very cute. Okay, Sally, now you're overdoing it. John, is there anything you want to see, say to Sally? Um, I think Sally is stupid. What did you just say to me? Get your dumb ass over here, you dumb motherfucker. You want to go at it? Whoa, I would never punch a woman. You fucking coward. Yeah, what, you want to punch a woman? You want to punch a woman? How dare you? How dare you? Whoa, 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 guys, guys, guys. What are you doing? Why are you fighting? <laughs> uh, so it's... 205 right now. Wait, can it not hear me? I had my headphones in because I was listening to music. Yeah. Uh, so I didn't know if it could hear me or not. It is 206 now. I get to go home at 232. What? 232. So. That's pretty crazy. It's been a long day, but really nothing's happened today, so it's a little bit goofy.
it's been a weird day. Um, but some fun stuff has happened that wasn't captured on camera. I tried getting a room tour, and they didn't let me do a room tour. Um, I don't know why, but it would have been fun. So, yeah. It's at 12%. I'm so close to finishing the day. So close. So close. Uh, so, funny story. I realized I actually don't leave here until... 3.32. So I've still got another hour in here. Oh my goodness. Where's my battery right now? 10% battery. Um, so here's a little refresher on the time in case you didn't know. Uh, I've done actually zero homework. They put me in here to do homework, but I haven't done any of it just because I've been bored and I didn't feel like it. That is the camera. Hi, Gavin. It's me again. Still in detention. I discovered uh, we got a like beautiful around ten product. minutes left. LB, hey, Gavin, I'm in detention. Oh, actually, oh. suspension. Uh, Yo, how's it going? I am slowly <laughs> losing my mind in here. Um, I have nothing to do. I'll no one to well, talk to. I'm just documenting like, my I'm slow descent into madness, now, and I'm a rainbow. I'm slowly changing colors. <laughs> Help me, please. I'm free. We're out. We're out. Oh my goodness, that was. I'm finally free. I'm, fi I'm free. Yeah, I'm free. I'm free. I'm finally free. Say hello. You're on camera. You're on camera too. Happy New Year. Yeah, right. Ah, yeah. I'm free. I'm free. How do you feel? I'm free. I'm free! Yeah! yeah oh, out. he sucks! <laughs> I didn't say anything. Kaden, we're out of the camp. Kaden, we're out of the camp. What do you think? What? Yes. Yeah! Hi, man. <laughs> I don't know. I've never seen that guy in my life. Brennan! Brennan, I'm free. I'm finally free. You're on camera. I'm, are you? I'm finally free. You look angry. Oh, no. Hi. Hello. <laughs> He's staring at me. I don't want him to put me I'm back in there. Camp, I'm scared. Bro. I'm finally free, bro. Bro, I'm finally free. I'm free. I think I've slightly gone insane, actually. <laughs> Just a tease. Could you hear?